All right, what's going on, guys? We are back on Hell Divers 2 for another weekly update. So let's get into it. So the new update has dropped, and I've encountered some of the enemies. The most notable one was the Impaler, and it martyred the entire squad. That happened. Alright, um, so a lot of the changes have been good, but I don't think it's going to be enough to keep people committed long term to the game. The What's happening in the game at the moment is not impactful enough to keep, I don't think it's impactful enough to keep people engaged. I think uh, Airhead needs to make some changes on that movement forward and do something to get people more engaged in the major orders and more invested in the war itself. Um, there is a new war bond, Freedom's Flame. At the moment, I do not suggest buying this war bond. Um, the skin's kind of cool though. All right, so the weapons, a lot of them, a lot of them have flame type deals, like this one, flamethrower. And then a pistol that's a flamethrower. At the moment, though, with the recent update, now, I don't use flamethrowers personally, but from what I've seen, the flamethrowers may no longer be working on chargers and heavier enemies. If, I'm not saying that is the case, but if it is, then... This entire war bond is useless. I mean, you could get it for the cosmetics. The cosmetics look kind of cool. The weapons, though, I I don't see what would be the point, to be honest. Um, some of the some of the stuff does look kind of cool. I like the skin, and I like the skull there. That looks sick. So if you want to get it, don't get it expecting it's going to change your gameplay. Get it because the stuff looks cool. Um, it does give you fire resistance. A mech skin. So, that's the Freedom's Flame Warbond. Not too impressed and in the current state of the game. I don't see it being impactful in the slightest. Let's go and look at our stratagems. We did get the anti-tank mines, but again, nobody is really going to use those. I mean, Nobody in the game that is team oriented uses mines. So, yeah. Let's check out our major order and see what's going on there. Eldiver, take command of the galaxy's liberation. This latest and natural slew of terminated abominations has been quelled by the intrepid Helldivers. Even the reemergence of the Impaler could not diminish the Helldivers' fervor for duty. However, a new major, new and major potent threat, potent threat has emerged, one which divides, can, defies conventional combat. The interstellar spore cloud has continued to grow. 
now encompasses several star systems and is growing more every day. This is a natural phenomenon has been named the gloom. Now, couldn't they come up with something better than the gloom? Efforts are underway to, de to determine the source and nature of this threat. Analysts of spores from Socorro 3 have shown a genetic connection to samples from the gloom, indicating that it may have been the source of these new terminids. The expansion of the cloud will likely spread to these new terminid variants to other planets within its vicinity. The mysterious gloom appears to be accelerating terminate expansion to new planets, but threatening as it is, we do not have the luxury of keeping our focus in one place. The efforts of the Helldivers have nearly reclaimed our land from the automatons, avacious territorial annexation. The pocket of two isolated planets remains. Truce and Vandalon 4. They are vulnerable and we must liberate them now before the machines find a way to reinforce their position. If we allow them to remain much longer, their defenses will increase significantly. Our enemy thinks they can divide us with simultaneous threats. But the Helldivers are more than capable of fighting on two fronts at once. They will wield the hammer of justice and the shield of freedom with equal atrocity. Free our systems from the automatons and limit the unnatural spread of the terminids to new planets. Okay, so our current major order is to go to one of these two. Alright. Initiating Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Helldivers to Hellpods. Repeat, Helldivers to Hellpods. Destroyer has joined squadron.
located. West. Warning. You are in range of enemy artillery. No. Requesting air support.
drop the sample, by the way. Somebody needs to pick those up. Point me to the enemy. Five minutes left. We can't stay this low much longer, Helldiver. Dang, we only got five minutes. We gotta get to the distraction point. Parking location, never mind. North. again.
All right, guys. <clears throat> That's going to end it for this week's episode. I do sincerely hope that Helldivers 2 gets better. Just have to wait and see. Uh, I hope that the game gets better with its live service. I think it has a lot of potential. I think there's some stuff that Arrowhead needs to address and figure out. One of which is the flamethrowers. It kind of, like, does it make sense to release a warp on and then the weapons don't work on all the enemies. You know, you got a flamethrower. Drop, you, you could drop one down as a stratagem. If I pull that bad baby out, I should be able to cook a charger. I wish that they would stop nerfing things in the game because we figure out ways to kill the enemies quicker. I mean, if you wish for the game to be difficult, then maybe you need to change and make tweaks to the enemies versus the effectiveness of the guns. Every gun that I've liked in this game has been nerfed at some point. If you want to do what Bungie did, I mean, go look where they're at. I mean, that, that's just my opinion. Alright guys, I'll see you guys the next one. Storm's out. <laughs>